me, Johnson. Johnson. Johnson, I picked up your emergency call. Who did this? Can you hear me, Johnson? Was it Coletti? Johnson, was it Coletti? Sam Louver. Hello, Sam. Listen, Mac. I want you to meet me at the Northfield Hospital right away. What is it, Sam? There's no time for explanations. Just get over there right away. All right, Sam. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Right. Bring your portable recording equipment and ask Joe to stand by on the big rat. Okay, Sam. Thanks, Mac. Joe. How much longer, Mac? Just a few minutes. Is the radio link working okay? Yes. The brain pattern is going straight into the big rat. That should do it. I'll tell Joe. Joe. You can switch off now. All right, Dad. Fine, Mac. Well, let's go. Hold on, Sam. I think it's time for some sort of explanation. Now later, Mac. We have less than two hours. We must get back to your laboratory. Now listen carefully, Joe. We have the recorded brain pattern of one of my best agents. Your father's going to transfer all this knowledge and experience to you. I understand, Uncle Sam. All right, Joe. You know what to do. Just relax. Relax completely. Yes, Dad. The man you saw at Northfield Hospital was Ed Johnson, one of our top agents. He's been working undercover for the past three months on one of the most important cases the World Intelligence Network has ever handled. And I believe he was close to cracking it. Go on, Sam. Well, we're up against a ruthless and very efficient organization. The man at the top is Mario Coletti. Who's he, Uncle Sam? Coletti is one of the cleverest agents operating today. Wherever there's political unrest, there you'll find Coletti selling guns to the highest bidder. Do you think this man is here, in England? I'm sure of it, Mac. I mean to nail him. Every year, hundreds of people are cut down by guns supplied by Mario Coletti. It seems to me, Sam, such a man must be stopped. But how do we do it? We've had one break. When they dumped Johnson in that alley, they overlooked his micro-recorder. 
Listen. This is the last message on the tape. Report A17. Johnson 1100 hours. Fox will attack 2100 hours today. Target shipment Tango 120. Will confirm. Out. What does it mean, Sam? It means that the Fox Mario Coletti intends to hijack Tango 120, a truckload of automatic rifles of the latest design in approximately 1 hour. I want Joe to be with that shipment to lead us to Coletti. Why use Joe on the mission, Sam? Those rifle cases are only four foot long and weigh less than 80 pounds. Joe's about four foot, isn't he? Yes, he is. And his weight? Oh, six stone. That's uh, 84 pounds. Close enough. There's the homing signal. Joe's aboard the transporter. We can monitor his position all the way. Well, if Johnson's information is correct, Coletti will strike in one minute from now. on time. driver's got his foot right down. Oh, don't worry, he won't get far. Right, get the guns loaded into the trucks. Let's go. The signal's stationary. The transporter must have stopped. Could it be some sort of traffic holdup? Possible, but on a country road, not likely. I think Johnson was right. They've been ambushed. Great. What do you mean, great? If they find Joe... That's just it, Mac. As I said, a grown man could never hide inside one of those crates. Who'd be looking for a nine-year-old boy? No, it's just great. Joe will get a free ride right back to Coletti's hideout. reports the tracks are one mile from the base and they've not been followed. Good. Give them clearance to enter the complex.
Well, even Mr. Coletti should be satisfied. Everything went without a hitch. Shall we unload the trucks? No, oh, we can do that later. Come on. What was that? I can't hear anything. Sounded like it came from one of the trucks. I think I'll check it out. Oh, come on, you're imagining things. I guess you're right. Base. It's Joe. Loud and clear, Joe Knighty. Phase two complete. I'm in some sort of underground complex. I'm going to take a look around. We'll report in 15 minutes. Intruder in Area 4. Intruder in Area 4. Intruder in Area 4. You fool. Someone followed you back to the complex. Oh, impossible. Get down there. Yes, sir. I want him. Preferably dead. Over there! <laughs> Come on. Hey. Intruder, now in Area 7. Repeat, Area 7. Got him cornered. Drop your gun. I said, drop it. This is the end of the line, kid. The very end. So, this is the intruder? Yes, Mr. Coletti. What's your name, boy? Joe, sir. Joe what? Joe 90. Ah, an unusual name. What are you doing here? I'm an agent for the World Intelligence Network. <laughs> I see, that's, that's very interesting. And this is your case? Yes. What's this? A badge? Transmitter, huh? They could almost be a real. Gregson. Yes, Mr. Coletti? Take the boy home. But, sir, you don't understand. This boy seriously wounded two of our men. Do you take me for an imbecile? It's obvious to me what happened. At the first alarm, some fool fired at the shadow, and the rest of you panicked and started firing at anything that moved. It's a wonder someone wasn't killed. Mr. Coletti, this boy's a crack shot. I've heard enough of your lunatic excuses. Take the boy home. Come with me. Mr. Coletti? Yes? Can I... can I have my case? Oh, uh, certainly, Joe and I did. The 
boy has seen and heard too much. Tell Gregson to dispose of him. Yes, Mr. Coletti. All right, son. You're going home the same way you came. I've forgotten my glasses. You won't need them. Joe should have reported again by now, Sam. Don't worry, Mac. With Ed Johnson's background knowledge, he'll be able to handle Coletti. I hope you're right, Sam. Oh, I hope you're right. Joe 90 to base. Are you all right, Joe? They've caught me, Dad. Where are you now? I'm locked in the boot of a car. Listen, Joe. Do you have your glasses? No, but I know where they are. Okay. You've got to get those glasses. Joe, feel round the lock. There's probably a slot with a hook in it. Someone's coming. I can't say anymore. I've got a message from Coletti. Dispose of the boy. It'll be a pleasure. And follow me in the other car. Right. Signal's moving. What's going on, Sam? Oh, we can't just sit here, Sam. Something's obviously wrong. You're right. Let's go. Signals stopped. Joe. Our men have searched the wreckage, and there was definitely no one in the car. Did you see the crash, sir? Uh, no, we were just passing. Control 147, calling 147. Excuse me, sir. I don't understand, Sam. It means Joe must still be in Coletti's hideout. Have we any idea where that is? Well, I plotted an approximate location from Joe's homing signal in the laboratory. Then what are we waiting for? A document 178, code and transfer immediately. The consignment ordered October 15th will be ready for shipment early next week and will consist of 1,200 Mark 17 automatic rifles and 350 Brenner submachine guns. The price is as agreed and must be paid in the gold one week prior to shipment. The actual details of the payment can be worked out later. I am leaving for Geneva tonight and expect to be there in three days. <laughs> Are you? Close enough to kill you, Coletti. Gregson? Davis? They're not here. You sent them to take me home, remember? Carter! Carter! Are you sure this is right, Sam? Yeah, Joe said he was in an underground complex. There must be a hidden entrance someplace. All right, Coletti. I'm coming to get you. 
You're the only one left, Coletti. It's just you and me. All right, Joe 90. Come on. Come on! Come on out! Sounded like an explosion. Over there. That's it. Come on. Sam, it was just great. <laughs> you had us worried, Joe. We thought you were in that car when it went over that cliff. I'm sorry, Uncle Sam. I must have dropped the homing device when I was struggling to undo the boot of the car. What happened to those men, Sam? Yeah, we picked them up. It was a clean sweep. Great. What's my next assignment, Uncle Sam? <laughs> I'll tell you your next assignment. A hot bath and straight to bed for you, my boy. And that's an order. <laughs>